Hey there, if you need a Google Analytics account to track what's happening on your website, stay tuned for this video because I'm going to show you how to create a Google Analytics account in about two minutes on the follow up video that you'll see in the description below. I'll show you how to use the official Google plugin to install it on your WordPress website so that you don't have to worry about any code. You don't need a third party developer. You can do it yourself in about 10 minutes at tops. First thing you need to do is you're gonna to need to have a Google account. So that's normally it's it's actually free, so it's Gmail, and you just simply go ahead and log in to the account. Now, since I do already have an account, I'm using this in the guest browser so I can show you guys the process. But if you have a Google account, you simply put in your email account here, and then you go or you go create an account, and then and then you go to head next. Okay, once you are on the account, once you've logged in, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, let's go ahead and hide this. Once you're logged into the account, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on, go to analytics.google.com. And then when you get over here, if it's your first time coming in, you're gonna see this sign up here that says sign up for free. And then you're gonna to wanna to create your new account. So the first thing you wanna do is, now keep in mind that you can have multiple different websites under one account. With Google Analytics, you have a, a limit of 100 websites, 100 different accounts you can do, but each one of the accounts, you can have 15 websites or 15 different properties under. So for the purpose of this, I'd recommend, I'm just gonna call this one Martelli, martelli.ca. That's the website I'm putting on here. I go ahead and I leave these open, okay? And then I just simply click on next. Then I'm installing a website. So I simply leave it on here. You can also add an app or if you have both, you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Then on here, I'm gonna give my website the name. It's the same thing. So Martelli TA. And then I'm just gonna actually grab the actual URL for the website. I always recommend doing that because then you get the actual true URL that way well, you know it's working before you make any mistakes. Then you simply paste the URL in here and you can see it's the HTTPS version. So I'm gonna take this off and take this off and I'm just going to change it to the HTTPS version. I'm going to select what industry I'm in. I'm in the kind of online marketing slash best one would be, I would say, I'd probably say more of an internet company. I'm located currently in Canada. So I can just type in CA and Canada pops up and the time zone for me is in Toronto. So I'm going to type over here. Actually, let's see. It's Montreal. I'm actually Montreal. Nope, there's no much else. I'm going to go to Toronto. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and select on create. Okay. You're going to need to change again to Canada. I'm going to go ahead and accept the terms for Canada. I do recommend reading through all of these first. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go ahead and read through these as well. Really fast. I'm going to hit on accept. Okay. Data protection. And then, then I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna wait for here. And it's pretty much, it's all set. So this is where I would wanna go ahead and do if I wanted to create multiple account, what if emails I wanna get, I'm gonna untick all and hit save. I'm not adding myself any of these. And then down here, there was a little pop-up that showed up a few seconds ago that was kind of cool. It showed that you, there is an app for mobile and desktop and that you can have added on. So that's maybe definitely something you wanna do. Now over here, now here's my UA number that I have for the website. Now here are a couple of cool things is, that's the tracking code I'm gonna need after. I recommend from day one, just turning on remarketing because that's off by default and the ability to run ads because this is the ability for you to be able to create a remarketing campaign in the future. If you don't have this turn on, um, you can't set up a campaign to remarket to the people who've already visited your website. And then the second thing is I'm gonna go over here to data retention and I'm gonna change this to the maximum amount of time, which is 50 months. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And the other thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna come out of here and I'm gonna go ahead and don't forget to set up the goals, all right? This is a step that a lot of people seem to forget is you need to set up goals on your website. Now, I know one goal that I always set up right off the bat is I always have a thank you page after any form or option that I have on my page. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on custom, continue. I'm gonna call this my thank you by default. And I'm gonna make it be a destination. I'm gonna click continue. Then I'm gonna go destination equals T-H-A-N thank dash Y-O-U. And this is, this is how the URL, the end of the URL for every thank you page is gonna look like for me. 
all right? So I'm just gonna simply click on that. You can click on verify. It usually comes up with zero because I'm just installing the analytics code right now, but you can go ahead and install the, and create that one. And in another video, I'll show you how to set up the, the call tracking as well as some of the other ways to, to be able to do the form tracking on your website that I recommend doing as well. And for now, this is all you need to do for setting up analytics. And I'll show you how you're actually gonna put that on your WordPress website in another video and on different platforms, depending on what type of website you have, um, the different types of installations. But for now, this is all you need to know in terms of setting up a Google Analytics account. Check out the other videos on how to get it installed on your website.